26 minutes till 6 now. In just a few weeks, seat belts will be mandatory for drivers and passengers across the state of Florida. The bill is named after 16-year-old Katie Marchetti of Valrico. She died in a car accident because she wasn't wearing a seat belt. Her parents have been a driving force in getting this bill passed, and this morning they are speaking out about the importance of the bill, which was recently signed by Governor Christ. Our Ellen McNamara is live in Tampa this morning with more on that. Good morning, Ellen. Good morning, Dia. You know, while the law will go into effect in just a few weeks, the Marchetti family tells me that they really still have a lot of work to do. That's why they're hosting a fundraiser here at the Grand Spa later tonight. All proceeds will go and help educate others about the importance of wearing a seatbelt. Yes. Laura Marchetti still talks to her daughter, Katie. And when Governor Christ signed Senate Bill 344, known as the Dory Slossberg and Katie Marchetti Safety Belt Law, the talk with her daughter that day was bittersweet. Just that I love you and that I know she'd be proud of all of us. Katie would be proud of her mom and dad who pushed for tougher seatbelt laws to save lives. In my situation, my daughter took her seatbelt off that night and leaned back on the car and she was ejected and thrown onto the highway. And then you know, a motorist ran over my daughter. And so this affects everybody. And although the law will soon affect everyone, the Marchetti family says now they're focused on education. A fundraiser at the Grand Spa tonight is hoping to help that mission. Spa owner Carmen Lee Sargent was on board from the beginning. I have three children myself, and just hearing the story, um, Laura's story, Katie's story, really touched my heart, and I felt like we needed to get involved. And the Marchetti's hope after hearing their story, you'll make changes in your life every time you get into a car. It's a fun thing. We're so busy being, trying to, to get this legislation passed. And so to come together, it's kind of a celebration, but it's also twofold. It's also awareness. And back out here live, you can see that the sign is posted advertising for the foundation and what will be happening tonight. Now, speaking of awareness, the Marchetti's are already working with some local schools and coming up in our next hour, you will hear about that. As for the event tonight, though, if you still want to come, it starts at 730 and tickets are available at the door. 75 for an individual, $150 for a couple. Live in Tampa, Ellen McNamara, ABC Action News. Thank you, Ellen. Florida drivers and passengers will have to buckle up or pay up. Governor Christ recently signed the bill into law, which was pushed by a local family. The Marchettis lost their 16-year-old daughter Katie in a car accident because she wasn't wearing a seatbelt. And the Marchettis say they, their work is not over yet. Our Ellen McNamara spoke with the Marchetti family. She joins us now live in Tampa, where a fundraiser will be held tonight in Katie's memory. Good morning, Ellen. Good morning to you, Dia. Obviously, the parking lot is not full right now here at the Grand Spa, where the fundraiser will be held. And the fundraiser is, of course, to raise awareness about the importance of wearing a seatbelt. And it is the Marchetti's mission. Just that I love you and that I know she'd be proud of all of us. Laura Marchetti remembers what she said to her daughter, Katie, when Governor Chris signed Senate Bill 344 but it was a victory that came with a huge price. And ever since the crash that killed the bubbly 16-year-old, tougher seatbelt laws have been the mom's mission. We're very much involved in the Hillsborough County school system and the Pasco school, school systems, and we want to spread this through the state of Florida. We're all just trying to take care of one another. And even though the law is now official, the Katie Marchetti Foundation won't stop. A fundraiser tonight at the Grand Spa is hoping to help spread the word, and owner Carmen Lee Sargent didn't hesitate to help. I didn't realize that we were the last state in the South not to have this law, so I think it's very important and um, especially to bring awareness to everybody and to children and teenagers. And the Marchettis hope teens and others will get the simple message that seatbelts save lives. I always talk to her, I still talk to her. We were very, very, very close. So, you know what, in her honor, I say I grieve with grace and I try to do something for the greater good. Just that I'm being the same mother that I was when she was alive. And she definitely is a great mother, obviously doing a lot of great work, as you can see there from the sign at the spa. If you want to learn more, though, about the law, you can go to katiestory.com. And as for the fundraiser tonight, as you saw on the sign, if you still want to come, there are tickets available. Again, it starts at 730. Tickets at the door for individuals are $75 and for a couple are 150 Reporting live in Tampa, Ellen McNamara, ABC Action News. Thank you, Ellen. 639 now. Keep it right.